Hello, just thought I'd come on here for a little bit um, to show bookings for um, Ingram. What I usually do, I've stopped, I think this week I'm going to experiment with something by opening the classes that morning and seeing if I get booked. And they should show like, the booking rates with Ingram and all that. I did open them before I left for work. I think it's about 9 o'clock. Might have been 9, yeah. I um, opened it up. I had all five booked before I even um, went out the door. <laughs> all five were booked. Then I just checked right now. I have 10 minutes before uh, my 6 o'clock? Why does it say 6? Huh. 5.30? Is this? Oh, I'm, I'm looking at Japan time. But <laughs> I, was, I was getting ready to like, go sit down for another hour. I'm glad I didn't. My time, yeah. It's 5 o'clock. Never mind. <laughs> that would have been bad. <laughs> get a um, get a no show teacher no show um, while filming. <laughs> but anyway, on yeah, ten minutes it'll be five o'clock, and then I will do this first class. But when I came to check, I noticed one person canceled, and they can cancel up until fifteen minutes before class starts. They don't have to do that. I was looking that up the, um, recently, and they have up until fifteen minutes before their class to um, cancel their class without penalty on their end. If it's in within a 15 minute window, and I've had it happen several times, they will, um, it'll just say no show and you just move on with life. And you get paid for it as well. Um, here, this is open, but in the past when something's open like that, I've not had any problem getting booked within the last minute. So this will be, this is a good example, or a good example, good um, scenario of what will happen in Ingo. So he does cancel at the last minute. Because that does sound kind of uh, soon, you know, some kind of like a small window for them. Being able to cancel within 15 minutes of class without penalty, but of course there's not a lot of prep work that goes into Ingo, to be honest with you. So, if they do cancel, you're not really, <laughs> it's not like you put yourself out a lot um, to, to prepare for that class, which I don't even prepare at all. But, um, but yeah, I, I have a feeling it will book, because I put it in that yellow zone, that's their peak time. Um, Japan's 6 o'clock p.m. Well, it's their 6 a.m. to um, 8 a.m. Um, slots there. Is that 8? Yeah. 6, 6, 37, 7, 30, 8. So 8.30 Japanese time, which is 7.30 my time in Eastern Standard Time, I'll be finished. I can open more if I want, and I'm sure they might book, because that's a good... There's been times I've been sitting at the house, and I just open a class, and it books. I'm like, okay, I'll give me a class to do. So... Booking with Ingu is um, no problem at all. You're going to get bookings if you do it right. Um, especially if, you, if you're first starting out, make sure you get into the yellow zones here because that's where more that's where the most of the students will book. Until you start getting a good name, getting a rate, a good rating. Um, my rating did go up. It went up to uh, where am I at here? I'm oh, still in Japanese. Nine, well, you know, four point nine. Eight, and so I have 104 um, five star and seven of three um, four stars that haven't been knocked off yet. So, um, and I got another comment. I actually enjoyed the relaxing, engaging environment where I'm not afraid of making mistakes. And that's Yashi, not Yoshi. <laughs> I always let them say their name first. I don't just assume <laughs> that. Oh, hey, Yoshi, and then Yashi. So, I don't just let assume um, their pronunciations like that. That'll get you in big trouble. What I like to do, I always, you can click on that and take, I always like to leave this page open and I just go to open here and I can see, um, and before I upload this, I will, I know Ingu and in their policies, they don't like you, even if it's just one name, a first name, it, they're not, they don't like for that to be um, shared on social media. So before I post this, I will um, use the, the YouTube feature of like uh, blurring these out there. So. So if you see this here, if it's oops, if it's a green box, then you know it's book. Blue box means open, and so and that red there. If you ever see red and you don't have anything booked, oh, you don't have it open. That means to open it because there is a ninety to one hundred percent chance you're going to get something put there. So if you're ever there and you see red, but you don't have that slot open, then they're um, they're wanting people to open that so they can get some more people to book at that time. There's people still searching for classes and it's very highly likely that you will get booked. Um, it, it gives you a 90 to 100 percent booking rate. And those come and go throughout the day. Um, you have to actually be there. One thing I don't like about Ingu is 
they, there's no notification system. So you have to keep checking the website to see um, did someone book. There's no notification to your phone, no email, anything like that. So yeah, that's on you to keep up with the website. So if you open a slew of classes for the day and then close it out and just wait for a notification on your phone, well, you're going to be out of luck <laughs> when people start booking. Uh, you have to keep that open. That's what I do if I open like during the middle of the day. If I'm just sitting there and I'm feeling okay and I want to book a class, I just open it. And then about 15 minutes before, I always set my alarm on my, I always tell Alexa to um, uh, you know, remind me or whatever. I use her a lot like that. And I'll say, you know, remind me at uh, 4.45 to check Ingu. And I'm going to see if it's booked. If it's not booked, it'll say closed. If it is booked, um, then it'll be green and say reserved, like right there. So... And so this one, this person wants free conversation. I like those a lot, um, especially if there's someone who likes to talk, because you can just talk about anything, especially in this adult. You can talk more about uh, different things than you can with our VIP kit, uh, free um, conversation opportunities. It's more structured there too, even though it's free talk. It's a very structured free talk, and they're children. That's why you know they're still learning the basics of, you know, of English. I'm not dishing that part. I think it's important. Children and adults, you know, have different setups for this. Even with a free conversation, I'll go to the lesson page here. And I always pull this um, over to my screen in front of me and keep that to the side so I can keep the students' information there. Because I like to look it over because sometimes they want to do self-introduction, sometimes they don't. That's important to know. Um, I've had some with free conversation, they just want to talk. They don't want me to correct their uh, grammar. They don't want correct pronunciation. They just simply want to talk or they want to listen. That lets me know, should I be talking more? Should I, let's, you know, by default, you should step back and let them do most of the talking. But sometimes they want, if they know here, or usually in the special remarks part, they're here to listen. Um, that means up how much you speak, which is, for me, it's very easy to do. Um, I'm a shy, introverted person in public, but when it comes to on camera like this, I seem to, you know, have more to say. Uh, it's a 22-year-old, and again, if it says D-E-M, D-M-M, -E um, I never learned that pronunciation. They're from Japan because they don't call it Ingu. It's a whole different program for uh, people in Japan for that. So they can, if it's free conversation, they can choose anything they want. Uh, we can talk about business, travel, culture. If they want to do some grammar. Usually conversation will come up with different topics. They'll give you topics if you're stuck. And that's, I've had to do that one time with a child. Um, you know, what would you like to talk about? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so. We went to that part there, um, and I've got about three minutes before class starts, and and you can actually go to here. You can actually go to this website, Ingu. Anybody can look at these things. Um, so if you need some content to use for other um, platforms, now don't copy and paste. That's obviously going to be a copyright issue. <laughs> but if you need some ideas, then this is a good place to go to as well. Um, but usually, if it's free talk, I just go to here like this. Ah, why's my camera? See, it's a good thing I came on early. I can. Um, Oh, I know why, because I'm using my camera for Manicam, it's not going to let me do both. So as soon as I close Manicam, it's going to let me do that. So I better do that now. I've got two minutes, but I will update um, to see if, let's go ahead and do that now, see if it booked. And it's not booked yet, so um, I will come back and we'll see if it's booked or not later on. And here we are. Um, I didn't even finish my last class, I just happened to look over and refresh the button and it's been booked so even if a student book uh, cancels their classes at the last moment um, then it's gonna be okay usually once you get started into Ingu again the pay is not great but the um, reliability is there at this point uh, they're not oversaturated teachers I just finished this class now I'm going to close it out oh that's something I was doing for the university <laughs> um, I wasn't doing it during the class right now that was happened to actually be open before class started because Someone emailed me about something. Here's another. This one wants to again skip the buzz of vocabulary section and a question part. Um, I have like four minutes. It's okay though. They don't. They can't. Again, they don't start their classes early. Actually, it's when you're already at the classroom. Like when this countdown to zero. If this gets to zero, and if they're already there, then bloop, it'll, it'll, it'll do like a bloop sound, and the student pops up. So there's no start button um, to forget to push or break them down. If, they, if they're not in the classroom yet, then nothing happens. 
it just counts down, and then this little meter here will start counting up, just like in the VIP kid classes. And then once they get there, it'll it'll make that bloop sound, and um, class will begin. You pop up, and they'll pick an article here. So this one wants to do an article. Let's pretend he selects this article. Say so he wants to skip the vocabulary and the question, which I, I, if it's an adult who's very good with English, um, I like doing this because it takes, up, it takes up a little bit of time, honestly, if I'll be honest with you. But um, the question is just like comprehension, you know. Actually, it's not really comprehension. It's, well, it's more about memorization. I like when they go up to go straight to discussions, uh, the discussion questions, uh, because that's when you really get into the language here. They just want you to know, just ask questions about the, the article you read. What does this mean? What does, oh, I need to see what that word is. And I, sometimes they'll choose um, a Japanese or, or Korean based article, and I struggle with, uh, <laughs> with the words that they have there. So uh, I don't think I'm going to just close this one out and go back in so that um, it resets it to where it should be with um, him there. So, alrighty, just wanted to show you that, yeah, it, the bookings are good with Inga. If I wanted to open more classes, I'm sure they would book. And there's no problem with that. Alrighty, thank you for watching.